Here at John Paul the Great in high school, when a kid tries out for sports or drama or music, they get excited if they get picked for varsity or if they get a lead in the play or they're having some special solo. Because we want glory and God has put in our hearts this desire for glory. Well, in the reading today from Isaiah, God says, rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. Nations are gonna walk by your light. Mother Teresa once said that you may be the only gospel that some person ever reads. How are you gonna shed your light in the world? Well, that comes from knowing Christ. St. Paul talks in the reading today about how his conversion was a revelation, and we celebrate the epiphany today that Jesus was revealed to the nations, and it was a personal grace. Jesus doesn't just come in a broad way for everybody, but also uniquely for each one of us. And how did the wise men find Jesus? They found him with Mary in her arms, and what did they do? They adored him, and they brought their gifts. So as we start a new year, we want to bring our gifts. We want to adore Jesus. We want to find out, is there something else that's in the center of our life or our heart? What is more important than God for us? That might be hard to look at, or we might be kind of afraid to ask those questions. But ultimately, God wants us to know him as our fulfillment and then to use our gifts for his glory. Saint Jose Maria, the founder of Opus Dei, said that when you dream about the future of your life, your apostolate, the horizons about what you're going to do, he says, dream and your dreams will fall short. In the gospel, the wise men had a dream where they were told, don't go back the old way, don't go to Herod, take a new route home. That's what God is calling us to do today. How many of us are aware that God wants to help us to change and he helps us with Jesus and with the grace that Jesus brings us? God is giving us the grace to change. He doesn't ask us to change everything. He meets us where we're at. But this week, maybe pick one thing about your life that you wanna change and maybe just start with a few minutes of prayer every day and ask God to show you where it is that he wants to change your heart and change your life. He wants to shed light on your path so that you can become who you're meant to be, to develop your gifts. But start with one thing, and with grace of Jesus, you can do it. I always say, never trust a skinny priest, so listen to me. Subscribe to Two Minutes to Virtue this year.